Our school development program was really designed to apply the principles of the development of sciences to every aspect of uh, schooling. Uh, it was initiated in uh, 1968 in uh, two low-income, 95% African-American uh, elementary schools in New Haven, Connecticut. That was 32nd and 33rd out of 33 schools in achievement, uh, in attendance, in behavior. And eventually, they were tapped the third and fourth highest levels of achievement in the city. They have the <coughs> highest level of uh, attendance, uh, best attendance, and, and no serious behavior problems uh, in these schools by using the principles that we're going to describe. Uh, but the program really began in 1960, after I finished medical school, uh, and during my internship in my hometown of East Chicago, Indiana, where I was planning to become a general practitioner of medicine. And I observed my three best childhood friends on a downhill course, which eventually led to uh, alcoholism, uh, mental health problems, and murder. Uh, and they had, were from families like my own, low income, uh, low levels of education, and menial jobs. But we all went to the same racially integrated school and in some ways had the same chance, but they really didn't. Uh, and but the question was why, what happened to them? They were as intelligent as uh, me and my siblings and anybody in our school. Uh, and the other question was, what could be done about it? Uh, those two questions led to my training uh, in public health and prevention, psychiatry, uh, child psychiatry, and uh, development. Uh, and then I brought, as a result of that training and personal experience, uh, the perspective a developmental perspective because I realized that the difference between me and my friends was the quality of the developmental experience that I received at home that they did not receive. Uh, and so uh, I began to ask, what is the question? And I asked you to look uh, at the systemic uh, reform, age one and two, um, handout. Um, and look at the child growth and development, the average expected child growth and development uh, diagram. Uh, and you'll see there the look at the child born into a network of friend and kin, interactions that lead to uh, attachment and bonding uh, with people in that network, primarily the mother and father uh, or cousin. Uh, and uh, that they provide in a supportive environment growth along the developmental pathways that are critical for academic learning. Uh, social uh, interactive, uh, the uh, interacting uh, and learning time and place and how to interact with other uh, people, uh, the psycho-emotional, the self-regulation of the emotions and feelings, uh, and, and developing a positive concept uh, of self uh, and the physical, uh, overall physical development, including uh, development, brain development. Uh, the moral ethical, or right and wrong, appropriate, uh, and uh, the language, linguistic, uh, both receptive and expressive, uh, and the intellectual cognitive. All pathways necessary for <coughs> school success. Uh, a dis the problem is that a disproportionate number of non-mainstream children uh, do not receive the kind of support they need uh, to uh, have developed fully in these areas when they enter school. On the other side, most teachers and administrators have not been prepared through no fault of their own to create an environment in school in which the school can uh, support and compensate for their underdevelopment. Uh, and uh, if you look at the diagram, to page two, uh, you'll see that, in fact, uh, I'm suggesting that many schools uh, do the opposite. They create problems for children who are developing well because they are ineffective uh, and do not pay attention to 
uh, the development of the uh, children. You can see the kinds of conditions that children uh, really must try to survive in, uh, in uh, many cases. Uh, when we went into the school, uh, we developed a transformation uh, model. Uh, and it was a uh, nine element uh, model, uh, a framework. You couldn't just mandate and ask people to do better. You had to create a framework that allowed them to both learn uh, and apply the principles in a systematic way. Uh, and you can see the nine elements there on page uh, two um, of the school transformation model. Uh, and you can see the guidelines uh, on the left side uh, no fault, consensus, and collaboration, and those guidelines help create trust among all the stakeholders in the school. Um, and safety and uh, creativity that can spring from uh, all of those people being able to interact well and trust each other. Uh, and the uh, mechanisms or teams, uh, the school planning management team being the most important, uh, made up of the key stakeholders was the principal or administrator uh, leading uh, that group uh, and they gave direction to the school by focusing on a comprehensive school plan, both academic and social uh, and uh, the staff development assessment modification on an ongoing basis allowed people to think, talk about, work together to solve problems uh, and to create opportunities for themselves and for the students. Uh, and in the process, they were able to infuse development and developmental principles uh, into both the academic and all of the activities uh, of, of the school, uh, and do so uh, in a way that improved the overall development of the students, uh, overall academic uh, achievement, and help the students begin to think about future uh, opportunities and future uh, activities and responsibilities. Uh, and this uh, uh, framework uh, carried out in a systematic way uh, over time uh, really changed the performance uh, of the students uh, very dramatically. Uh, and they were able to, on an ongoing basis, uh, infuse uh, the developmental uh, principles. It allowed the teachers administrators, parents, to own the school and in an organic way change and improve the school. And as they began to institutionalize the work of the, the understanding, uh, it, it became an organic change, ongoing change and improvement uh, school. And we decreased our involvement, our school development program, uh, as they institutionalized uh, the way of working.